Welcome to the conferring ceremony for the School of Business, Computing and Humanities. The School of Business, Computing and Humanities includes the following departments. Hotel, Culinary and Tourism, Business Studies, Creative Media and IT and Computing. A Gwina Uusla Galeir, Bavalam Falta Corover Dus Quick Sharmanish Fronta Davak Tanina Hinchtatuda. Brunford Davakta Nerv Yognak, Mila Maclean and Uv, Agaskavam Kogorda Slagak Ina Ako, Ron Kamen and Lena 2020. Good morning, all. My name is Aileen Kennedy. I am the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Registrar of the Institute. Let me begin by welcoming you to the Institute's Conferring of Awards virtual ceremonies. We are very sorry that we cannot celebrate with you in person this year. We are particularly proud of you and what you've accomplished in these very challenging times. Over 1,000 graduates will be confirmed with an award today and congratulations to each and every one of you, the graduating class of 2020. Your award is officially conferred on behalf of the Institute by the President of the Institute, Dr. Brendan O'Donnell. Your award acknowledges your excellent academic achievement in completing successfully your programme of study. Well done to everyone. Before we begin, I will hand you over to Lionel Alexander, Chairperson of the Institute's Governing Body, to formally open the conferring ceremony. Hello everybody, my name is Lionel Alexander. I'm the Chairman of IT Truly Governing Board. And on behalf of the governing board members, I'm totally, absolutely proud to be here uh, to say a few words on behalf of your graduation. Today, we have a total of 1,056 students, 64 of which are PhDs and masters, and 326 students getting special uh, purpose and minor awards. And to all of you, my heartiest congratulations. 2020 has been a very disruptive year for all of us. Nothing that we have seen in our lifetime. Disruption to families, disruption to individuals, businesses, and students. Students like yourself, who had to go online to get into your classes, online to collaborate with your peers, and online to stay in touch with your friends. And through this tough, tough period, you show strength, passion, and resilience. Now, this may not have been the ideal graduation ceremony, but having said that, you have developed new capabilities and new strengths given the environment we've been in. In the new generation that is stepping up today, you have to remember that you don't need to conform to the world as it is. The world is what you make of it. And that is your opportunity. Now, before I leave, I'd like to say a few words. Success is not about what you achieve. Success is how you aspire others to achieve. So your, your studies, your values that you have embodied over the past years, embrace that and unleash that to your success in the coming years. 
Once again, my heartiest congratulations to all of you and I wish you the very best in your future endeavours. Thank you. Presenting you today as candidates to receive your awards are the Head of Department of Hotel Culinary and Tourism and Business Studies, Mr. Ray O'Connor Desmond, and Mr. John Walsh, Head of Department of CMIT and Computing. We now come to the conferring of the awards. I now call upon Dr. Brendan O'Donnell, President of the Institute, to confer the awards. The Head of Department will call the graduands to receive the awards. All graduands will be conferred. On behalf of the Institute, I hereby confer awards on the learners of the Institute who have achieved the standard determined for those awards and I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with their parchment. I now call upon Mr Ray O'Connor Desmond, Head of Department, Business Studies, to call graduands who are to be conferred. President, I now present the following candidates who have successfully completed the requirements for certificate, degree, honours degree, masters or PhD within the Department of Hotel, Culinary Arts and Tourism and who are worthy to have these awards conferred upon them. The Higher Certificate in Arts in Hotel Operations. Elaine Doolan. Alufemi Laia. Damien O'Shea. Mark Tully. The Higher Certificate in Arts in Culinary Arts. Esther Taffrey. The Bachelor of Arts in Culinary Arts. Mantas Baskis. Nasa Begley. Connor Burke. Donna Marie Dempsey. Sophie Jane Devan. Brianne Galloway. Aidan Joseph King. Craig Lynch. Ashling Mahan, Geraldine Murphy, Carl Nocter, Murin O'Mahony, Madapuola Okoro, Sebastian Ordowski. Cloda Tehan, Marcin Urbish, Megan Keeley Walsh, Bachelor of Arts in Hotel Management, Nicolay Badaru, Thomas Boyle. Kieran Brick, Ava Cecil, Helen Dorr, Lonard Early, Jennifer Feely, Shane Fulham. Ark Jelinski, Dermot Kidd, Laura McCarthy, Matthew McNulty, 
David Montgomery. Niall O'Brien. Leisha O'Connor. Amy Lee O'Regan. Keith O'Sullivan. Keith is also the recipient of the Irish Hotels Federation's Kerry Branch Academic Award this year. Kevin Patrick Payne. Connor Shanahan. Katie Wilson. A Bachelor of Arts in Travel and Tourism Management. Shannon Beads. Sinead Coffey. Neve Connachton. Justine Davies. Alyssa Facinato. Samantha Goodrich. Margaret Griffin. Michael Haw. Sloane Johnston. Adriana Morrow. Christine Negachevsky. Christine Nicodemo. Kiana Parks. Boon Chai T. Samantha Ray Thorne. Nandi Chikota. Devon Shane Watt. The Certificate in Culinary Skills. Moonlight Shaw. Marie Cronin. Kira Nicole Horgan. Yevgeny Kuksenkovs. William Mitchell. Christian Muravici. Nora Murphy. Sandra O'Mahony. Certificate in Front Office and Revenue Management. Camille Ambrosite. Maeve Collins. Aidan Donoghue. Jason Doyle. Marissa Foley. Marie Galvin Byrne. Fiona Guilty. Corina Graney. Sheila McCarthy. Magella Millward. Deirdre Maloney. Laura Moynihan. Jennifer Murhill. Celia O'Connor. Kate Ann O'Dowd. Christine O'Sullivan. So I now present the following postgraduate candidates for their awards. 
President, I ask you to confer the award of Master of Arts by Research on Sinead O'Mahony, whose thesis was an exploration of the motivations and behaviours of Generation Z festival goers in Ireland, supervisors Mr Fergus Dunn and Ms Sheila O'Mahony. I now present the following postgraduate candidate for the, his award. President, I ask you to confer on behalf of Quality and Qualifications Ireland the award of Doctor of Philosophy by Research on Noel Doyle, whose thesis was Leaving No Trace in the Irish Countryside, Effecting Behavioural Change of Recreationists. Supervisor, Dr. Sophie Price. Noel Doyle. President, I now present the following candidates who have successfully completed the requirements for certificate, degree or honours degree within the Department of Business and who are worthy to have these awards conferred upon them. The Higher Certificate in Business. Andrew Boyle. Grace Costello. Bachelor of Business Neve Ball Sarah Bartosik Amy Cullity Ellen Donnelly Brendan Eccles Justin Elwood Daniel Griffin Rachel Eileen Griffin Pavlas Gvezdaukas Eleanor Joy Tulasi K. Murrelhi Darhan Adam Kernan Anna Magdalena Kowalik Shannon Lonergan Kean Anthony McAuliffe Ali McCord Mael Monier John Moran Leanne Ellen Moriarty Zoe Elizabeth Marga Mulqueen Dominic Nokve Ronan O'Keefe Abby O'Sullivan Owen O'Sullivan Arthur Saliu Yangting Wang Leslie Yuong The Bachelor of Business Honours Richard Boyle Samuel Candiano Ruth Carey and Ruth is this year's recipient of the Business Student of the Year Award Nicole Comerford Jack Dowie Mary Enright Adam Gearan Kieran Mangan Lisa Mary Manning 
Gavin McKenna. Marion Mesto. Paige Ray Lynn Moreland. Tyg Milan. Rebecca Marie Murphy. Jonathan Myers. Ashling O'Connor. Ellen O'Sullivan. Jane Beatrice of Bude Ejim. Shannon Sear. Katie Shukru. Catherine Bernadette Sullivan. I now call upon Mr. John Walsh, Head of Department of Computing, to call graduates who are to be confirmed. President, I present the following candidates who have successfully completed the requirements for certificate, degree or honours degree within the Department of Creative Media and Information Technology and who are worthy to have these awards conferred upon them. Higher Certificate in Business, in Business Information Management, Leanne Mulvihill. Bachelor of Arts in Business Information Management, Warda Baig. Emer Burke. Tara Piggott. Rachel Quirk. Kathleen Reedy. Bachelor of Arts in Information Systems Management Chloe O'Dowd Philip Stack Bachelor of Arts Honours in Information Systems Management Dwight Bacalso Dielza Bathjari Trina Clifford Nesha Julia Clifton Shanice Houlihan Gary Keane Eileen O'Connor Claire Sweeney Bachelor of Arts Honours in Music Technology. Talon Fagan. Jonathan Rudy Cool. Aaron James Stack. Sean Tierney. Bachelor of Arts Honours in TV, Radio and New Media Broadcasting. Jennifer Burke. Edwina Chiesty. Colin Gallagher. Sophie Hanley. Aidan Dennis Kiley, Laura Maycock, Patrick McCormack, Cot Negriefa, Gronya Quirk. Bachelor of Arts in Animation, Visual Effects and Motion Design. Robert O'Connor. 
Bachelor of Arts Honours in Animation, Visual Effects and Motion Design. Martin Adcock. Julia Nicole Dorsman. Nada Francis. Regan Gray. Diana Griffin. Elena Hakoban. Dara Horgan. Jenny Monioro. Niall O'Shea. Martha Spangler. Nya Sin Che. Stephen Wright Cole. Certificate in Social Media for Digital Marketing. Stephen Buckley. Maureen Collins. Nicola Cox. Daniela Kuskela. Renan De Jesus. Pat Flavin. Kevin Johnson Horgan. Joanna King. Neve Lynch. Orla McSweeney. Tara O'Reilly. Kira Maria O'Sullivan. Rowan Smith. Brian Ward. President, I present the following candidates who have successfully completed the requirements for certificate, degree or honours degree within the Department of Computing and who are worthy to have these awards conferred upon them. Bachelor of Science in Computing with Games Development. Ryan Michael Wallace Cosserell. Bachelor of Science Honours in Computing with Games Development. Jack Carl. Michael Edgar. David O'Sullivan. Bachelor of Science in Computing with Media Development. Emma Griffin. Michael O'Sullivan Bear. Bachelor of Science Honours in Computing with Media Development. Darren Godley. Fabeline Nicholas. Connor O'Brien. Jack O'Hara. Bachelor of Science in Computing with Software Development. Tracy Brosnan. Leon Hennessy. Brendan Kelly. Peter Allen McCafferty. Shane McGinley, Carrick McNulty, Jake O'Connor, Eric Osiecki, Catty Neve Pierce, 
Patrick Reardon. Bachelor of Science Honours in Computing with Software Development. Dylan Carey. Jack Hayslip. Sean Hogan. Petrus Krasnicki. Kenneth Mallon. Jared Vincent McInerney. David O'Connor. Mark O'Donoghue. Hugh Ying San. Jack Tehan. Certificate in Development Operations. Kieran Caffrey. Andre Ricardo Cunha. Marcus Grant. Kian Higgins. Gerald McCauley. Lynn O'Neill. Owen O'Sullivan. Certificate in Artificial Intelligence. Roman Allister. Brian Barons. Colin Cooper. Emmett Doolan. Patrick Seamus Hand. Julio Gennaro. Marco Magnani. Nathan Ryan O'Hare. Patrick O'Neill. Patrick Phelan. Trey Daniel Shine. Robert Tokars. Beth Walsh. Pavel Zamorski. Certificate in Lean UX Design. Davin Morris Barrett. Orla Breslin. Aaron McLaughlin. Anthony Ryan. Creative Media Student of the Year. Diana Griffin, Bachelor of Arts Honours in Animation, Visual Effects and Motion Design. Computing Student of the Year. Mark O'Donoghue, Bachelor of Science Honours in Computing with Software Development. We are delighted to have guest speaker Mr. Martin Shanahan, CEO of the IDA, to say a few words to our graduating class of 2020. Martin Shanahan is CEO of IDA Ireland. Martin is also a board member of IDA and chairman of its investment committee. IDA, Industrial Development Agency, is Ireland's inward investment promotion agency responsible for the attraction and development of foreign investment in Ireland. Martin took up this position on the 1st of September 2014. Martin is an adjunct full professor of UCD Michael Smurford Graduate School of Business since September 2019. Previously, Martin was chief executive of Forfoss, 
Ireland's Policy Advisory Board for Enterprise, Trade, Science, Technology and Innovation and held executive roles in Fall to Ireland Tourism Development Authority. Martin is listed on the Yahoo Finance Outstanding 2019 list of top 30 leading public sector LGBT executives. A very warm welcome to Martin. Hello all, I was delighted to be invited to participate in your graduation ceremony. I can't see you right now, but I'm sure I'm correct in picturing you all around the kitchen table wearing academic gowns and mortarboards. Like you, I wish I was doing this in person. I would have loved to have had the opportunity to travel home to Kerry and had the opportunity to meet with you all. As we all know, we are living in very challenging times and it is disappointing for you, I'm sure, that your final college year has been interrupted in this way and this probably isn't how you imagined today going. But today was never uh, going to be just about uh, receiving a piece of paper and getting photos taken. Today marks the start of the next chapter of your lives. I would ask you uh, to put all of the negatives aside uh, for just a few minutes and let yourself feel the sense of pride and accomplishment that you deserve for completing this journey. You will no doubt have concerns at this time, whether you, those are about your immediate employment prospects or your future prospects, given what is happening at the moment. Some of you may have health concerns as a result of this virus, or you may be concerned for those uh, close to you, and they are very natural concerns. Or you may have lost loved ones or know people who uh, have succumbed to this uh, virus. I know uh, there is a cross-section of students graduating um, today from business, uh, from hotel, uh, culinary, uh, arts and tourism. Uh, computing and creative media and information technology and I want to congratulate you all. The pandemic has had a significant impact on all sectors but some much more than others but we also know that this will eventually pass so do not lose hope. One of the most important things uh, to remember about career paths is that they are not linear as a graduate of hotel management myself, many years ago it has to be said, I never dreamed that I would end up where I am today. Opportunities will come your way that you never expected. Don't be afraid to take a chance. Sometimes it is very difficult to see beyond where we are at right now. I was CEO of the uh, Government's Policy Advisory Agency 10 years ago, uh, FURFOS, and in uh, 2010 and 2011, we were trying to develop an action plan for jobs to recover from uh, that recession. At that time, it was very difficult to see where jobs would come from and how, would, how they would come in the numbers that we needed them to come in uh, in order for uh, us to recover. The economy did recover. Employment recovered much more quickly than any of us could have imagined at the time. When I look at the economy today, uh, we can see many strengths in Ireland, and particularly given the mix of sectors that we have. And those that are dominated by foreign direct investment are currently performing well and looking resilient. This has meant that both our corporate tax take and our income tax take has uh, remained strong. And that gives government the wherewithal to continue to invest in other parts of the economy. I can't tell you uh, what is going to happen exactly, but I can tell you that Ireland is well positioned to benefit from an increase in global economic activity when that does happen. The path of the virus remains uncertain here and elsewhere, and that's what will largely dictate what happens next. As you know, there are many companies working on vaccines, on therapies and on testing capability. All these things hold out hope for a return to something approaching normal. What can you do? Well, only what's within your control. But don't wait to be asked and uh, are given permission. Be the best at what you can do now. Firstly, look after yourselves. 
Look after those around you. Do the best you can at whatever job you have at the moment and learn as much as you can. As graduates of the pandemic, it is now up to you to come together and show us not how to put the pieces together and return to the old normal, but to create and help build a better version of the world that you want. If you're unsure about what your career path should be or may be, don't worry. Most careers evolve rather than following a grand path and I'm still not sure what I want to be. Use the opportunity to learn more, uh, get another qualification, be a positive impact on your family, on your friends, uh, on your work colleagues or on your fellow students. And above all, keep washing your hands. This completes the conferring of awards for the School of Business, Computing and Humanities Studies. I now call upon Dr. Brendan O'Donnell, President of IT Tralee, to address you. Hello everyone. On behalf of the Institute, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you here today. Unfortunately, due to the ongoing pandemic, the Institute is unable to stage an on-site graduation ceremony as normal. The Institute greatly regrets this, as the graduation ceremony is the highlight of the academic year, providing a formal opportunity to acknowledge the student's success, as well as enabling the graduate's family and friends to share in this milestone occasion. However, this should not in any way take away from the achievements of the students that are to be conferred today. Your achievements and success are as equally worthy of celebration as any other year. In fact, as a group, you are to be congratulated on the manner in which you adapted to the sudden changing manner of your learning during the spring of this year. To the graduates, I offer my sincere congratulations. This is a significant milestone in life's journey and you should be rightly proud of your achievements. For many of you, it is the end of formal education, or so you think. Education and training is fast becoming a lifelong experience a process facilitated by the ever-expanding suite of part-time learning be made available over a range of formats. If you do decide to re-engage with the college at a further point, I would ask you to keep the alma mater in mind. As you may be aware, the consortium consisting of IT Tralee and Cork Institute of Technology was deemed by the Minister for Education and Skills to have met the criteria for technological university status in May of this year. I would like to acknowledge the substantial contribution of the staff of both institutes in realising this significant achievement. The Munster Technological University is on course to become a legal entity on January 1, 2021, at which time both IT Tralee and CIT will cease to exist. As this is the last graduation ceremony for IT Tralee, it is timely to acknowledge the contribution of all the staff employed since its original inception over 40 years ago. The incremental advancements progressed by staff over this period has brought us to the point where the university campus will now be located in Tralee Town, the first provincial town in Ireland to have such a strategically important facility. Having a university campus in a region is widely regarded as an essential driver of economic and social development. The mission of the new university is to create, in combination, a strong, sustainable technological university, confident in its capacity to play a central role in meeting the social and economic challenges and opportunities facing Ireland and with a firm foothold in and focus on the Southwest region. MTU will have an extensive regional footprint with six campuses across the Southwest region. The opportunities presented by the combination of campuses located in different geographical and socio-economic environments are considerable. It will be the aim of the MTU to leverage off these differences to create a distinctive educational profile for the university with innovative approaches to what we teach and research and how we teach and research how we engage with enterprise in the region and how we support the already rich cultural environment. With our distinctive profile and strengths, MTU will underpin the national and international positioning of the Southwest region as a great place to invest, to set up business, to work 
and to live. Ours is a big project, big on ambition, big in the commitment required for our staff and students, big in the support we need to draw on from within and outside the institutes, but big too in the benefits it can bring to the Southwest and the people who live and work here. Serving our region, but within the context of wider national and international opportunities and challenges, will be our key objective. Designation as a technological university is a first essential step to our ambitions. After that will come the challenges of delivering on those ambitions as a single coherent university. We are determined to make our vision a reality. In all our work, we commit to engage constructively and as widely as possible with our students, our staff and the wider stakeholders here in the Southwest and nationally. Without them we will achieve nothing. A significant component of securing what will be referred to as the Kerry Campus will be the completion of the new STEM building. Approval for this project has been secured and planning permission has been also been secured. Commencement of building works is expected to start in the new year. This development will complete the transfer of all activities from CLASH, or, or what is referred to as the South Campus, to the campus here in Drumtacker. Finally, I am sure that the graduates present here today would like to acknowledge the contribution that the staff of the Institute have made to ensure that you arrived at this point. Specifically, over the last year, the Institute of technology sector has demonstrated beyond all doubt the primacy in which the support of the student is held. This pastoral approach to third level education is clearly an element that all st staff of IT Tralee and CIT wish to embed in the core philosophy of MTU. I am certain that you will fully acknowledge the impact this support has had ensuring that you achieved your full potential. I would like to thank all the staff involved in organising today's event. Like you, they are equally disappointed that we cannot do an on-site event. So finally, I would like to offer you my best wishes for the future as you embark on the next stage of life's journey. I hope that you have a very pleasant day and that you get an opportunity to celebrate the occasion with your families, for which it is an equally important day. They are all very proud of your achievements and no doubt have played a significant part in your journey. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the formal ceremony is now over. We hope you've enjoyed the ceremony. As you cannot be on campus to celebrate this, your very special occasion, the graduating class of 2020, as part of the Institute's Green Campus Biodiversity Plan, an elder tree has been planted on campus today on your behalf to mark this very important moment in your lives. This is your tree and I hope graduates will feel free to visit the campus in the future and see it flourishing in tandem with your own careers. Good luck to you all. This is the first tree planted of our native trees, which is symbolic for all IT Tralee graduates of 2020. There will be more planted as of Creel Bjog, which will help increase the biodiversity of IT Tralee, and this is a green campus initiative. Mm -hmm.